Here's how, hold on a second. Here's how to easily control the volume of your AirPods. What's up YouTube, it's your boy, BMAC. The Apple AirPods. Some people love them, some people hate them. Actually, I think most people love them. I don't know a single person who actually hates the AirPods. But one of the problems I personally face and one of the questions I get asked all the time in regard to the AirPods has to do with volume control. How does one easily manage the volume of their AirPods without having to take out their phone each time they want to change the volume? Well, there's actually a couple different ways to change the volume of the AirPods one of which is a wireless way, and the other way you might not have actually heard of before. So in this video, I'm gonna break down all three ways you could change the AirPods volume. First and foremost, you could change the volume of your AirPods through Siri. On the AirPods 1 and the AirPods 2, this is as simple as just double tapping the AirPods you have set up to invoke Siri. You wait for the chime, and then you tell Siri to either turn it up, turn it down, or actually set the volume to a specific number, one through 100. Kinda like this. Turn it up. Boom, volume changed. On the AirPods 2, however, you could do this without even actually having to tap on your AirPods because of that new hands-free Hey Siri functionality we get in the AirPods 2. Instead of double tapping on your AirPods set up to talk to Siri, you could do so with one simple Hey Siri command line. Kinda like this, Hey Siri, volume 90. And she changes it to 90, ow. Although that's, that's a little loud. Probably shouldn't have picked 90 as a number. Ouch, my ear. However, I don't, I don't really know what that was. However, for those of us with an Apple Watch, there's actually an even easier way to control the volume of your AirPods without having to do any of that. If you're listening to music on your iPhone and you're listening to that music through your AirPods, you could actually change that volume through your Apple Watch. On your Apple Watch, when you're listening to music on your iPhone, you'll see a now playing widget, or is that an icon? Widget? I don't really know what that is, but a now playing symbol, you'll see a now playing symbol at the top of your Apple Watch watch face, and if you click on that, you'll be immediately brought to the now playing app on your Apple Watch. And here's where it gets pretty cool. You have full volume control over your iPhone right here popping up. You can completely control the volume of your iPhone and thus your AirPods right on your wrist using the Apple Watch using this now playing app. And speaking of the now playing app on your Apple Watch, get used to it because it's pretty cool. You can actually change the volume of multiple Apple devices right on your wrist. It's super fast, super easy to use, super super helpful, it's super, I guess, and it basically acts as a remote that you have on your wrist at all times for your Apple devices. Personally, I love the fact that we have this option on the Apple Watch, and why would you want to use this? Well, there are instances in which I want to change the volume of my AirPods, but I don't have my iPhone nearby if I'm listening to music on that, and if I'm in public, I really don't want to start talking to Siri, telling her to change the volume, that can make for an awkward situation. Turn it down, please. Excuse me? Oh, no, not you. Um. So I pretty much always have my Apple Watch attached to my wrist, which means I always have a remote attached to my wrist. And it makes for a pretty cool remote that I have on my wrist at all times to instantaneously change the volume of my favorite Apple devices. So three quick and easy ways to adjust the volume of your AirPods. It's something I was wondering about. I thought you might appreciate it. I appreciate it. And if you have any other cool tips or tricks to change the volume of your AirPods without actually going through your iPhone to do so, comment those down below. It's always cool to learn something new about these bad boys. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go give my ears a rest. I've been listening to these things on way too high of a volume for way too long of a time. I'll see you guys in my next video. I really don't understand why I have a need to listen to my music that loud. It's, it's not healthy. Is my ear bleeding?